All 10 coloring books are out. Three, two, one. Hi everyone. I am going to be letting all my mini squishies choose my coloring page. There's a ton of coloring books over here. I have different art supplies behind me and then 260 mini mochi jelly squishies. I ordered three different packs from Amazon. Aw, there's a strawberry. Ooh, this set is stickier and smells. These two sets seem to be okay, but this pack of 100 is definitely last place out of these. Those ones leave a nasty, ugh. All of them are individually wrapped, so this might take a while. Pickle Rick is going to be my moral support. Yay. Go on my necklace, there we go. He's my muse. One, two, three. Pickle Rick is definitely a top tier Rick and Morty episode. My other favorite would have to be the Nightmare on Elm Street one. I think I've seen that three times. I was very careful with the scissors, by the way, because one wrong move and we have a snipped squish. Snip, snip. <laughs> Ready, set, choose your player. And there is only one correct answer. I'll give you a hint. Peaches, 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 peaches. This was the absolute best set, hands down, no duplicates, not really any deformities that I was aware of, and a really good selection. Also not sticky and they don't smell bad. 80 down, 180 to go. Now I am of course working on the second pack of 80 and it took around 20 minutes as well to open all of these. The difference between this set and the first one, well, look, there's a bunch of squished squishies that look pretty deformed and messed up. You can still tell what they are for the most part, but yeah, they definitely have some imperfections to say the least. But when we go to the group shot, you can see that there aren't duplicates except for the white cat and I'm fine having another cat. And also they gave me two extras, which was pretty cool. Probably by mistake, but but I'm not complaining. Who is your favorite out of this squishy bunch? Comment below. And the set of 100. <laughs> How cool is that? Keep in mind, this is the set that I like the least out of all three and I don't even recommend that you buy it, but I am gonna put all of my affiliate links in the description box below if you want to go on Amazon and see what other people have to say, but I mean, trust me. And 260. This is what I thought I was buying and this is what I got. There is no excuse for that level of dupement. That's right, dupement is now a word, but no, I, I feel like I got duped on this one. It is not what I expected. There are some cute ones, but it literally said in the listing, no duplicates, like a hundred different ones. And I ended up getting 98 and some of them had doubles, triples, quadruples, and even six. Why you gotta lie? Okay, I'm done complaining. Let's move on. Here they all are. Just kidding, I have to be honest. I ended up leaving the sets separate because I wanted to show you all the different squishies that are in each one. And I'm really glad that I did that because I don't like this pack of 100. It's stickier, it smells weird, weirder. And there's so many white ones. I'm not gonna color with white anything. So what I think I'm gonna do is mix together these two sets of 80. So there will be 160. As you can see, there's not much of a color variety with this one and it just wouldn't be as fun. First, I'm gonna be choosing a coloring book. I have a stack here. We have tiny cats. Oh, that's a glare. We have tiny cats, mushrooms, spooky girl and weird couple. I think I'll keep these together. These are also very similar bite-sized worlds and secret worlds. Color Morphia. This is a really cool one. Very intricate. Is this by the same person? So this is Doodle Invasion. Finally, I have these two coloring books by Vex. Oh wait, wait, I have one more that just came. Since this is a coloring video, I didn't want to leave this gift out for my friend Maggie, who is Little Patterns on Instagram. I'll link her socials below. This is not sponsored. She didn't ask me to include her book in this video, but she did kindly send it to me and it's very pretty. Thank you to Maggie and also to Arteza who collaborated with her and sent these colored pencils that went with the book. I probably don't want to do this book in this video though because I would want to use the pencils. So we'll save this one for another video. Just kidding. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six options. Or should I just split them all up and make it seven, eight, nine, ten? That would probably be more fun, right? Yeah. 
we'll do 10 options. I was thinking to use these bows because I have quite a few different colors. I can put a red one on one, a green, a pink, etc. That's how we'll do this. There will be a different colored bow on each book and then I will go ahead and grab a squishy, pick it with my eyes closed and that will be the coloring book that we're gonna do. All 10 coloring books are out. I have dark pink, red, turquoise or light blue, regular blue, brown, yellow, purple, light pink, gray, and green. If I pick a white one, then I'll just choose again. There we go. There's 162 here, I believe, because there were two extras in the one set. We're not gonna mess with the blindfold stuff. I'm just gonna turn around and pick one, but we gotta mix them around. Oh my gosh, right. No, that's the bad thing about these. My hair sheds a lot and one of these just fell on the ground and there's a bunch of hairs now. Ew. Pause the video and let me know in the comment section below which color or which coloring book you think I'm gonna choose randomly here. Oh, I don't have any orange bows. We'll count orange as brown as well. I'm not looking okay. I don't even know which coloring book I'm rooting for. I think they're mixed enough. Ready? One, or wait, we need to count backwards. Three, two, one. What is it? Yellow? Which one's yellow? Which one's yellow? Spooky girl. <laughs> We're gonna be coloring in spooky girl. I'll do a really cute one. That's not going to creep anyone out. Now that we have the coloring book, let's go ahead and get the art supplies set up and choose one of those. So here are the five different types of art supplies and I've already put bows on all of them. Since there's only five, I put two colors on each and I'm kind of nervous because Sharpies are gonna be difficult if I get those. Paint markers are going to be the worst, honestly, because you can't see the lines underneath them. They're too opaque. So ideally, I would want brush markers, crayons, or colored pencils, but we'll see. I gotta play fair. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to cheat. <laughs> you guys know the rules. If I choose a white one, I will pick again, but everything else should correspond to one of the colors of the bows. I look ridiculous, I bet but I just don't want you guys to think that I am cheating. So I'm absolutely not looking at anything. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna mix them a little bit more. Oh no, I dropped them, that doesn't count. All right, ready? Three, two, one. What is it? What is this, peach? Okay, so is this, you know what? I have pink and brown or orange. That means I get colored pencils. Remember the brown is actually orange. It can count as orange or brown because there's not that many of those. There's only a couple peach in the entire thing of mochis. So I don't know, this was kind of lucky, right? This is exciting. I have a set of 132 different colors in here. This is probably the best choice because there's different variations of some of the colors, like there's this light pink and then there's this really light purple. With these, we can get so close. Colored pencils in the spooky girl book. I promise I'm gonna choose a page that is not creepy for those of you who do not like creepy things. The first page is actually her sitting on this really creepy rocking chair with hands and she looks very scared. Have fun. If you're not familiar with Coco Wyo, I don't know if that's how you say their name, but they have a huge collection of coloring books on Amazon. I'll link them below if you're interested. I have three of them so far, you saw them. They were all options, that's kind of cool. This book belongs to, and then, all right. This first page is kind of cute because it has bats and it has her bunny on her bed, but um, I don't want to just pick the first page. So let's flip a little bit more. This one has a skull and pumpkin. Oh, this one is in a graveyard. So we're not going to do that. This would have been perfect for Halloween, but you know what? Maybe it's even more perfect because you wouldn't expect this in the spring, right? So we have a skull, some pumpkins. We'll skip over this one. Um, here is a hairy, scary monster, a shadow monster. So not that one either. Um, ooh, this one has a lot of different patterns that could potentially 
be fun. So I think we're gonna go with this one. Basically what's gonna happen is I'm going to choose a little squishy mochi every time I wanna color in a different shape. Say I choose this light blue one, I can use it on both curtains. Like I don't have to just do one space per color if that makes sense. No! Man down. By the way, this video idea is inspired by Kayla from Purple Stars O2. She has used both lip balm and squishies to decide what she eats in a day. And I'm like, how can I incorporate this into the arts and crafts world? So I thought the coloring book would be fun and maybe I can do more of these in the future. Don't forget to check out Kayla's channel. I will link it below. Let's do this one. Green. All right, so the first color on this page is going to be a lime green. Does this one match? Or should it be lighter? There's seriously so many colored pencils in here. These are the two closest greens. So I think the darker one, because this one's a little bit too yellow. So this will be the first color on the page. This is really tough because I don't know what any of my next colors are going to be. And there's an open page of everything right now. Do I go for the option that would make the most sense, which would be to make the leaves on the curtains green, maybe pick like the button on the eye. I'm so overthinking this. Like I don't want her hair to be green. I could just do like the little dots in each flower maybe. Oh, I committed. So we're gonna do a few of the flowers. So not every single one, we'll space them out. Okay, now it is time for color number two. I'm seriously not memorizing where any of these are, but I don't want you all to think that I like scoped out my next choice. So I'm gonna try to mix them every time. Um, how about this one? Brown, let's see which brown goes with this one. This is beige sienna. And the first one, by the way, was spring green. What do I want to do with this? I'm trying to do a little bit of shading on the hair, but nothing too crazy. I'm just trying to have fun and not worry about making it perfect, you know? Here's what it looks like now after her hair is colored in. And it is now time for the third color. This is the lightest yellow. A little pale yellow tiger. I think it's a tiger. Here's a couple candidates. They're really not the same though. This is lemon yellow. We're gonna go lemon yellow and I don't really know where to put this. The bunny's little button eye. Yeah. No, why is this so hard? The little flowers. <laughs> I have made my choice. The little tiny flowers. See, now I gotta do the rest. Or a few more anyway. The yellow is done. I actually really like it so far, but there's so many chances for it to get messed up. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, cool. A little pastel purple snowman. I think this one. Yeah. So this is more of a cool pastel purple and this one is more warm. So we're going to go with lilac. The lilac pencil. I'm going to make half of the bunny this color. That'd be cute. Instead of what they have on the front, they have like a tannish color and a red. I think the bunny should be purple, lilac. Thank you, snowman, for your choice. And you know what? Since I have already locked in my choice for where lilac's gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and do the fifth color. And I think that's gonna be the last one I do for tonight. And then I'll come back because I'm getting hungry. Uh, okay, so let's see what's gonna be at. Oh. Okay, now I gotta mix them all up again. I know that there's probably an easier way to do this. I could have put them in a bag, but then you guys can't see what I'm doing. So um, this is how it's gonna be. Okay, ready? How about this one? Green again, ew. This is, okay, so this is, <laughs> ew. So this is the more limey green which I guess isn't too bad. Maybe the little, oh no, I have to do another color tonight then because I'm gonna be boring with this one and put it inside the yellow flowers. So we'll do another color in a minute. Gotta wait to eat. This one has gotta be chartreuse. I'm not even gonna look around at the other ones. It just, I know it. So that's gonna be inside the yellows. Cute, cute. So. 
This is what I have so far. Hopefully I can get a more interesting one for color number six. Okay, seriously, it's the other one, the other purple that I had out. Lavender, I'm gonna have to use this for the other half of the bunny. Maybe we'll do one more color after this tonight. Or is that too, oh no, that's too close. That's too close. That's not gonna work. I think I'm gonna use this for the other button on the bunny. So the opposite eye button. Let's see if we can get something bigger colored in. Oh, my battery's dying. We gotta pick this quick. Quick, quick, quick. This one. Cute. Okay, I got a turquoise aqua. We gotta match this. Finally get to use the tray of blues here. Unless there's a lighter one, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be light aqua. Should I make the curtains this color? I think so. I think I might make the entire background of the curtain fabric this pretty color. That's beautiful. I love it. I spent quite a while on the curtains, but it was okay because I got to relax, sit on the couch, watch TV, and just chill. So here is what they look like. Ta-da! I'm back and ready to choose the next color. So let's go for it. We're gonna make quick this one. Oh, there's two. <laughs> Oops. Wait, I could've used those. Oh well, we'll do another one. Ready? I keep picking two. One. Kind of like a caramel color. Goldenrod is pretty close for this little dog. I like that he has a heart around his eye. That's so cute. I think that this would be a great skin tone for her because I don't want to take a chance of making her purple or pink or something down the road. So we're gonna go with, excuse me, cars outside. Is that a motorcycle? Yeah, Steve, leave it. Oh boy. Come on, Steve. Let's move it. But while the motorcycle is really loud, we're gonna make her skin goldenrod. Ooh, it's looking cute. On to the next color. Okay. This one. Yeah, we can't do this again. I already did this. Okay, you can't do the same color. This is exactly the same color. So you're out. This one. Red. I don't even like red. <laughs> okay, where am I gonna put red? Next up, we're about to have... Oh, wait a minute, we already did this one. This one, that's the same one, <laughs> gosh. All right, all right, I picked, what, how did I do that? Technically, this is a different pink. So even though I picked the yellow as well, we gotta get something on here. Blush pink to go with this little elefante. I still have quite a few spaces to fill in on the curtains as well as the bunny's button eye and the button on its chest, so I am going to choose three colors this time. We need to get this moving, you know? One here, two, and three. Uh, white? No, thank you. So we can work with this really light blue, not the yellow though. We'll go with the orange, because I haven't done orange anywhere. Just one more. This one. Brown. If I do clay rose, it's kind of a purpley brown. That works. 10% cold gray. I ended up using clay rose on the bunny's eye button. Then the really light, subtle gray I used to shade her shirt and her eyes. Then moving back to the curtains, I used the orange on some of the tiny flowers. Mostly all that's left is the leaves on the curtain, but also a few flowers, so I'm thinking, let's do another pick of three. I really want some cool colors for this. 
Fingers crossed. Okay. Uh, one. Oh, that does not feel good. I feel like this is red. I think it's an apple. Ew. Uh, two and three. What? <laughs> Ignore that entire pick. Okay. <sighs> Did I drop one? One? What is this? Is this a carrot? <laughs> two, three. Now I'm gonna try to guess what they are. This feels red. Oh, it's pink. Pink, oh, we already did pink. We have red. <laughs> eggplant. <laughs> this could work. So we'll keep the eggplant. And one, two. We already did green and red. One, two. Why can I not get any blues? <laughs> How about this and this? Okay, this feels like an animal. I don't know. Okay, we have to keep the peach. Because I haven't done that one yet. This is good. Okay, so we have a magenta-y color, a plummy purple eggplant and a peach bear. These are gonna be little details because I am holding out hope to make the leaves not these colors. <laughs> I ended up using process red for the bunny's button and some of the flower stuff, then peach on the centers of some flowers and mahogany red on the petals of a couple of the flowers. But I'm gonna make you wait until the end now to see the progress and we're gonna pick a few more Wait, I think two more at least. I would be so sad if I don't get any blues this entire time. Please be a blue, a red. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna start pouting. Okay, one and, and two. Wait, we got a blue! We got a blue! We just need one more. Different color, please. Yes! 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 <laughs> I'm so excited for this. This is exactly what I wanted. Well, okay, honestly, I think I wanted a bright blue, but this is gonna work. Thank you, Mr. Seal and Mr. Pear. I'm on the last giant leaf of the curtains. Come on, come on, come on. Now it's almost complete, but I want to take a moment to call myself out. This is definitely a different pink Bitches. than this. It's a little bit darker. So I went in and got blush pink. Wait, didn't we already do blush pink? Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have two blush pink pencils. Why does it look a little different though? They must be from different years. In that case, we're just gonna have to do another pink area. And I do have a couple left in the curtain, so we're gonna make that happen. And then I'll just go ahead and choose one more little squishy for the space inside the pink and see what we end up with. No matter what it is, I'm gonna do it, even if it's a double. So it's gonna end up being lime green. Not the greatest, but I'm just gonna make it super light. There we go. Very dull. All right, and it's done. All right, so why did I do that? Before the big reveal, let me know in the comment section below what you want my squishies to pick next or a different video idea if you're not into this. But I mean, if you're still watching, why? <laughs> Here are all the squishies that made this coloring page possible. Spooky girl and her bunny peeking through the curtains. A masterpiece, if you ask me. Uh, not really, but it turned out really cool and I enjoyed the process, so I hope that you did too. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Have a great rest of the day. Bye. How far can I turn my body? Wow. We're gonna turn into creepy girl.